They competed for the 40 minutes of basketball. Um, we didn't play smart the whole 40 minutes, but we gave ourselves opportunities. And the thing that we did, I thought a really good job of, and I got to give my assistants a lot of credit, just some of the adjustments we made in the second half, I, I thought was really key uh, to this game. And, and uh, unfortunately, when we lost Connor, um, that really hurt us size-wise. But uh, you know, I, I thought some of our rotations were really strong um, out of our double teams. I know there's two, maybe three violations on the shot clock that went out in the second half. So we, you know, we kept it to 10, 12. And um, you know, really, it kind of came out to you know them kind of shooting a lot more free throws than we did, and and uh, us fouling a little bit too much, and, and really kind of opened the lead a little bit. But um, you know, we, we we can definitely take a lot of positives out of this ball game to have three players once again in double digits. Um, you know, the three key guards, you know, with, with Jasmine and Olivia and Allison, um, that's really big for us, and, and that's something we need to be really consistent these next four games to have them in that 15, 18 range. And, uh, and you know, and hope get our post players going a little bit too. So um, again, it's we don't want to lose the games, but we can take some positive out of it. You mentioned Connor. Was it her mouth? Yeah, I, I, I haven't talked to her, but I do believe I know she got stitches. I believe she got an elbow um, just under her uh, basically lip to chin, and it split open. And that, that's kind of they wouldn't they really were concerned more with con con concussion symptoms. So I'm not really sure. I'll find out more tomorrow. They said. Okay. Huh. What were some of those second half adjustments that you were really pleased Well, we, we went through, I thought we came out again in the second half pretty strong, uh, making some shots with them, getting some stops. Then, you know, I told the team at halftime, Asia's going to go off. She's going to get hers. There's no question about it. She's too good. And uh, I knew they were going to start going high-low. Um, the one thing that she was doing, we were definitely trying to force her to go to her left. Well, she's made some good adjustments, and she's a very good basketball player, so she was going left very, very well from the top of the key. We were fouling, fouling, fouling that situation. So... We decided to put Jasmine on her, and I thought Jasmine did a tremendous job defending her. We bring the double teams. I thought her rotations were very, very good. The one thing that we struggled at, and again, our effort was there, or, or uh, um, they were in position, but it's the guard weak side rebounding is were small, and they were. And that's where Caldwell can get off and get some offensive boards, and they took advantage of that. But we made a miss, but just that second, third opportunity really hurt us with our size advantage. Um. Allison, obviously, 18 points, shooting much better than she has the past few yeah. weeks. What did you kind of see from her? Well, I, I think she made a few early. I think that gave her some great confidence. I know, you know, every time Allie makes a shot early in the game or two, she feels much, much better. And, uh, you know, again, she was doing both things. She was driving very well, finishing around the rim. She was making some shots. And, again, I think this is probably her fourth game. Really consistently, we're making extra passes. And, um, you know, make or miss, we're, we're getting good shots, and that's all I can ask for at this point. And um, again, I, I'm glad for her. And again, it's really good to see her top three guards uh, in double digits. And unfortunately, Erin struggled tonight. Uh, she wasn't feeling very well, I know, health wise, but again, it's not an excuse by no means. And, uh, you know, she got to put the ball in the hole, and Connor missed quite a bit of that game with that injury. And, you know, I thought uh, Hillary did a tremendous job just fighting and, and giving everything that Hillary does. And, you know, you know what you're going to get with Hillary, but. Um, just a little bit outsized, um, you know, tonight's game without Connor and with Aaron struggling a little bit. And you'd mentioned that you didn't necessarily play smart the whole game. What are some things that you saw that could have been smarter? Yeah, smarter just, just some of our careless turnovers. I know, I know they're a pressing basketball team. I know they want you to play fast. I thought two things that we, we didn't do a real good job on, and we talked about this trying to clear this up at halftime, was, you know, the turnovers in the first half really hurt us. They scored 13 points up our 16 turnovers. And you know, with, with closing that gap with, with our turnovers, would be a little bit closer ball game. And I thought um, we had good looks in the first half shooting, but that's what a press wants you to do. If you don't turn it over, they want you to take a quick shot and miss. Well, we've got to be. We talked about this leading into the game, where I, I don't want to tell them not to take a wide open shot, but if they miss two wide open shots, that third possession, we've got to run the clock. We've got to get at least make or miss run 20 seconds off the clock because they're too good of an offensive team. And I thought we got a little quick in the first half. But again, I think we made adjustments. I think our kids did a good job. I thought we did a much better job taking care of the basketball in the second half and did a much better job of taking better shots, not rush shots, and got a little more layups in there. So that's what kind of made that gap close.